Hello my noble band of outlaws, Outlaw Samurai coming at July with a video. Well, if you saw the title of the video, you'll know that I just finished watching Transformers 1. And my verdict? It was fucking awesome! I felt so much nostalgia as a classic Transformers fan. There were so many little callbacks to previous years of Transformers. Hun a lot of the OG original 1980s cartoon Transformers made cameos. Ironhide, RC, the main cast of Alita 1, Orion Pax, D-16, which later he becomes, renames himself Megatron, obviously. Bumblebee. And honestly, I was a little apprehensive of, I believe he, it's Chris Pratt who plays Thor in the MCU. I was a little apprehensive about anyone but the original voice of Optimus doing Optimus. But at the same time, it is supposed to be Orion Pax's journey to becoming Optimus. And I honestly think that for the role, Chris Pratt does an amazing job. The voice of Megatron was good. Bumblebee was on point. I didn't really like how pushy and shovey Alita 1 was. I felt like they could have toned down that just a little. Because she kind of has that I don't need anyone. I can do everything by myself mentality. And that rarely ever works out. Unless your character is specifically designed to be that and originally Alita was Optimus's love interest in the original Transformers. I know people are going to say oh, they're a robot how can they be in love? They're Transformers they have sentience. But I digress. So the story this is a spoiler revolves around Orion Pax and D-16, they are minor bots. They go to the service looking for the matrix of leadership that was lost. They find Ultra Trion. Or Alpha, yeah, it is Alpha Trion. And they reveal that Sentinel Prime was a traitor. And he's not even a real Prime. Sentinel was originally the aide to the Primes. But he tricked the Primes into thinking that he had intel on the Quintessons in order to lure them into a trap. And he killed all the Primes along with the Quintessons and had to give all the Energon that the Autobots mined to the Quintessons as a repayment deal. He also took Megatronus Prime's uh, transformation cog. And I really like how they had Megatronus Prime instead of being like, you know, he's revered as the Fallen One, the Forsaken Prime, all that. He was actually a good Prime. He was still a good guy in the movie. Honestly, I did not agree with Optimus's whole thing of sparing Sentinel. Because we find out that the Transformers, they are born, in this case born, built, same thing, but they are basically created with transform with transformation cogs. The part that allows them to literally transform. But Sentinel took them away. He basically enslaved the entire lower class of Transformers. So yeah, I do agree with Megatron that Sentinel should have died. But then again, that's just me. I tend to favor just killing off potential enemies because I have the anti-hero mentality. But yeah. And of course... We can help. There was also the references of there's more than meets the eye. But what I really wish they would have did was played. You got the touch. You got the power. Yeah. The original rock and roll power ballad 
that was in the original 1980s car, uh, movie where Optimus dies. I really wish that would have been there, or they would have had like Hot Rod or Cup or more of the classic Transformers, like cameo. Wheeljack appears in like two scenes and then dies in the mines, I assume, because he gets blown up. But there was one other thing I wish would have happened. I would have actually liked to see, like, in the end where Optimus and Megatron have their big battle. I would have liked to see the Quintessons take advantage of the confusion and attack the Autobots and the Decepticons, who at the time were still a Cybertron's elite guard. This is before the two factions split off. This is an origin story. But I would have liked to see the Quintessons attack and Optimus and Megatron put their differences aside to repel the Quintessons and then they kicked back up with the battle. So, but that would also mean the runtime would have had to have been longer, which I'm not, I wouldn't complain if this was a three hour long movie. I sure as hell wouldn't complain. Probably wouldn't have drank so much afterwards because I was practically pissing myself running to the bathroom. But yeah. All in all, what would I rate this movie? As a Mega Transformers fan, if you couldn't tell from the merch I'm sporting, as is common with me, I tend to wear merchandise or pelifamilia from the movies I tend to go see in theaters. What would I give the movie? A solid 9 out of 10. You probably want to outlaw, if you're such a major Transformers fan, why are you giving it only a 9 out of 10 instead of a 10 out of 10? Why does it lose that one point? It loses that one point just simply because I feel they could have done a little more with the Quintessons. Like, actually have, like, Almost a repeat of the slaughter of the primes. But this time, Megatron and Optimus, they team up and defeat the Quintessons, sending them packing. And that's when Optimus kind of spares Megatron. Megatron goes off and the war begins. That's why it loses the one point. I feel the Quintessons not being there is a major plot point that they could have extorted more. And since my best friend Geekipedia has also watched this movie, who knows, we may attempt to do a collab video with uh, our combined thoughts. Keep in mind that we have watched this movie independently of each other. He watched it first, and now I have just watched it. So our thoughts may be different, but I do feel the Quintessons could have had more screen time. Or they could have made the Quintessons a little more prevalent than they did. That's the only thing. And also the design. I should say it loses half a point each. Not having enough Quintessons and the Quintessons design. Call me old-fashioned, but the 1980s Quintesson design is chef's kiss essential that the thing that uh, the quintessons kind of look like that starfish thing from uh the movie home with the purple alien they just didn't scream quintesson to me in all honesty they looked like a video game alien the, the design loses half a point, and then not having enough Quintessons equals the other half of that one point. I don't know, it just feels like they really missed out on an opportunity to showcase what these Quintessons can do. And maybe if they did 
show more of the Quintessons and really show, like, they may not look the same as the OG Quintessons, but these are more dangerous versions. Or something to give to flush them out more. Maybe they wouldn't have lost the full point and only half a point for the design. But for right now, that's where we stand. A solid 9 out of 10. But if you've watched the movie, My Noble Band of Outlaws, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Until next time, my noble band of outlaws, outlaws, samurai tells all y'all be crazy rednecks. Be safe, use your weapons. I'm out. Peace. I know these solo movie reviews tend to be a lot shorter than when I'm with Geekipedia. Mostly because we end up bullshitting for a good 30% of the video. But I'm out. Peace.